our top stories this hour. And while markets may have reacted with enthusiasm to the capping, for now at least, of BP's leaking well, the oil company itself is in no mood to celebrate. Much depends on the temporary cap, one mile down under the sea. If it fails to hold BP's credibility and maybe its future, could once again be under threat. I'm joined here in the GMT studio by Richard Pike, a former executive at BP and the chief executive now of the Royal Society of Chemistry. Richard Pike, you know an awful lot about the technical operation that BP has been undertaking. Is this a watershed moment? Does it mean that BP now has control of this leak? Well, it's important in the sense that it's the, the first time there's a continuous link from the well to, to ships above. Uh, it's given them the flexibility to, to turn the oil on and off to, to check this, this cap, which is really a way of checking the overall integrity of the top of the well. But then the most important thing next is what's happening at the bottom of the well. In other words, two miles below the seabed, you've got another thing about to continue, which is the, the drilling of the relief well. But that won't be ready for some time, will it? Well, that'll be about two weeks. Two weeks. In the meantime, I was rather surprised to, to learn that... BP's plan is to keep the valves closed on this cap for maybe two days, but then to open them and, and let the oil flow again. Why would they do that? Well, well the idea is to, to, to keep testing the integrity of the top of the well. And you watch the, the pressure build up, having closed the valve. Then the valve can be slightly opened. The pressure will, will, will go down. They'll close it again. The pressure will go up. And in many ways, it's it's the sort of technique you use even on land to ch check out new equipment. So it's a question of checking things out for a few days. They'll then assure themselves of the integrity and then they'll, they'll really think more, more clearly about what's happening two miles further down. What, what uh, the United States uh, government wants and more, more particularly what the people of the mm. Gulf Coast want is certainty that in the next two weeks, you talk about mm. that two week mm -hmm. period, BP is sure that it can permanently uh, block this leak. Can we now be sure? With, with sufficient tests, we can. In fact, the next two days we'll, we'll convince BP and its contractors that, that the top is, is fine. There is then the risky business, and it, there is still a risk, of, of putting the cement at the bottom of the well. And, and there, the, the relief well is coming within just a few feet. Um, it will then inject uh, mud and then cement to surround the base of that defective well with, with cement that has to set of course and it's worth bearing in mind these are conditions with the temperature way above 100 degrees centigrade massive pressures uh, once that cement is set it will stop any oil flowing from the rock strata into the bottom of the well and then you'll have effectively ceiling at the top ceiling at the bottom and, and that, that well will be safe. Everybody at your former company clearly praying that is going to work. But for now, Richard Pike, thank you very much for joining us on GMT. Of course, you'll